Dover is a town and major ferry port in the home county of Kent, in southeast England. It faces France across the narrowest part of the English Channel, and lies southeast of Canterbury, east of Kent's administrative capital Maidstone, and northeast along the coastline from Dungeness and Hastings. The town is the administrative centre of the Dover district and home of the Dover Calais Ferry through the port of Dover. The surrounding chalk cliffs have become known as the White Cliffs of Dover, and the narrow sea passage nearby are Euro the Strait of Dover. Its strategic position has been evident throughout its history. Archaeological finds have revealed that the area has always been a focus for peoples entering and leaving Britain. The name of the town derives from the name of the river that flows through it, the River Dore. The town has been inhabited since the Stone Age according to archaeological finds, and Dover is one of only a few places in Britain a Euro London, Edinburgh, and Cornwall being other examples a Euro to have a corresponding name in the French language, Dover's. There was a military barracks in Dover, which was closed in 2007. Although many of the former ferry services have declined, Services related to the port of Dover provide a great deal of the town a Euro unregistered trademark s employment, as does tourism. The prospect of privatizing the sale of the port of Dover to create increased cash flow for the government was given a recent ironic twist due to the rejection of a possible bid from the town of Calais in France after opposition in Dover against any sale forced the government to withdraw the port from the market. Local residents had clubbed together to propose buying it for the community. More than 12,000 people have bought a £10 share in the People's Port Trust. History The name Dover was first recorded in Latinized form as Portis Dubri, which was for many years explained as derived from the Brythonic Dubra s referring to its river door. However, a recent detailed study showed that the name is far more likely to come from an ancient word for double bank referring to the shingle spit, s, that formed across the harbour entrance for which a word Dover is still used in the Isle of Wight. Subsequent name forms included Dover. The modern name was in use at least by the time Shakespeare wrote King Lear, in which the town and its cliffs play a prominent role. The cliffs may have given England its ancient name of Albion. Dover Euro unregistered trademark s history, because of its proximity to France, has always been of great strategic importance to Britain. Archaeological finds have shown that there were Stone Age people in the area, and that by the Bronze Age the maritime influence was already strong. Some Iron Age finds exist also, but the coming of the Romans made Dover part of their communications network. Like Limanis and Rutupi Dover was connected by road to Canterbury and Watling Street, and it became Portus Dubri, a fortified port. Forts were built above the port. Lighthouses were constructed to guide passing ships. And one of the best preserved Roman villas in Britain is here. Dover figured largely in the Doomsday Book as an important borough. It also served as a bastion against various attackers, notably the French during the Napoleonic Wars, and against Germany during World War II. It was one of the sink ports during medieval times. Geography Dover is near the extreme southeast corner of Britain. At South Foreland, the nearest point to the continent, Cap Grisnes near Calais is 34 kilometers away, across the Strait of Dover. The site of its original settlement lies in the valley of the River Dore, making it an ideal place for a port, sheltered from the prevailing southwesterly winds. This led to the silting up of the river mouth by the action of longshore drift. The town was then forced into making artificial breakwaters to keep the port in being. These breakwaters have been extended and adapted so that the port lies almost entirely on reclaimed land. The higher land on either side of the valley a Euro the western heights and the eastern high point on which Dover Castle stands a Euro has been adapted to perform the function of protection against invaders. The town has gradually extended up the river valley, encompassing several villages in doing so. Little growth is possible along the coast, since the cliffs are on the side Euro unregistered trademark s edge. The railway, being tunnelled and embanked, skirts the foot of the cliffs. Climate Dover has an oceanic climate similar to the rest of England and the United Kingdom with moderate temperatures year-round and light precipitation each month. Demography In 1800 Edward Hasted reported that the town had a population of almost 10,000 people. 
At the 2001 census, the town of Dover had 28,156 inhabitants, while the population of the whole urban area of Dover, as calculated by the Office for National Statistics, was 39,078 inhabitants. With the expansion of Dover, many of the outlying ancient villages have been incorporated into the town. Originally the parishes of Dover St. Mary's and Dover St. James, since 1836 Buckland and Charlton have become part Dover, and Maxton, River, Kersney, Templey Well, and Whitfield, all to the north of the town centre, are within its conurbation. Economy, Shipping The Dover Harbour Board is the responsible authority for the running of the Port of Dover. The English Channel, here at its narrowest point in the Straits of Dover, is the busiest shipping lane in the world. Ferries crossing between here and the continent have to negotiate their way through the constant stream of shipping crossing their path. The Dover Strait Traffic Separation Scheme allots ships separate lanes when passing through the strait. The scheme is controlled by the Channel Navigation Information Service based at Maritime Rescue Coordination Center Dover. MRCC Dover is also charged with coordination of civil maritime search and rescue within these waters. The port of Dover is also used by cruise ships. The old Dover Marine Railway Station building houses one passenger terminal, together with a car park. A second, purpose-built, terminal is located further out along the pier. The ferry lines using the port are, to Calais, P&O Ferries, DFDS Seaways and My Ferry Link to Dunkirk, DFDS Seaways. These services have been cut in recent years, P&O ferry sailings to Boulogne were withdrawn in 1993 and Zeebrugge in 2002. SNCF withdrew their three train ferry sailings on the opening of the Channel Tunnel. Rajiva Maritime Transport moved their Ostend service of three sailings daily to Ramsgate in 1994. This route was operated by Trans Europa Ferries until April 2013. Stainer Line merged their 20 Collet sailings into the current P&O operation in 1998. Hover Speed ceased operations in 2005 and withdrew their eight daily sailings. Speed Ferries ceased operations in 2008 and withdrew their five daily sailings. LD Lines ceased the Dover Deep service on June 29, 2009 and Dover Boulogne September 5, 2010. Sea France ceased operations in 2012 of their Dover Calais service which was their only service. The Dover Lifeboat is a seven-class lifeboat based in the Western Docks. Transport, Dover Euro Unregistered Trademark S Main Communications Artery, the A2 road replicates two former routes, connecting the town with Canterbury. The Roman road was followed for centuries until, in the late 18th century, it became a toll road. Stagecoaches were operating, one description stated that the journey took all day to reach London, from 4 a.m. to being a Euro OE in time for supper a Euro. The other main roads, travelling west and east, are the A20 to Folkestone and thence to London and the A258 through Deal to Sandwich. The railway reached over from two directions. The Southeastern Railway's main line connected with Folkestone in 1844, and the London, Chatham and Dover Railway opened its line from Canterbury in 1861. Trains run from Dover Priory to either London Charing Cross, London Victoria or London St Pancras International Railway stations in London, and Ramsgate or Sandwich in Kent in terms of final destinations. Trains from Dover Priory are run by Southeastern. A tram system operated in the town from 1897 to 1936. Dover has two long-distance footpaths, the Saxon Shore Way and the North Downs Way. Two national cycle network routes begin their journey at the town. Also, the ferry to Calais is a popular transport. From Dover to Calais it usually takes one and a half hours to cross the Strait of Dover. The Strait of Dover is the stretch of water between Dover and Calais and also the sketch of water that Dover-Calais and Calais-Dover ferries cross. More recently, ferries on the Dover to Dunkirk route have also become popular. This service was originally operated by ferry operator Norfolk Klein. This company was later acquired by the pan-European operator DFDS Seaways in July 2010. The crossing time is approximately two hours. Due to this route not being as well known as Dover to Calais, prices are often cheaper. 
The location of Dunkirk is also more convenient for those traveling on to countries in northern Europe including Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany and further afield. Stagecoach in East Kent provide local bus services. Dover is on the Stagecoach Diamond Network providing links to Canterbury 15, 15A, 15B every 15 minutes and Deal 15, 15A every 30 minutes. The Diamond 15A route serves the western docks at the port of Dover from the town centre as well as Canterbury and Deal. Dover is also the start of the wave network running every 15 minutes to New Romney 101 and 102 via Folkestone, Hythe and Dimchurch. Two buses per hour are 101 services to Lyde via Lyde Airport, with one continuing from Lyde on to Hastings via Camber and Rye. Two buses per hour are 102 service, with one terminating at New Romney and the other to Lyde on sea via Greatstone. Routes 87 and 88 provide a link to Sandwich and Ramsgate. Route 89 runs from Dover to Canterbury via Aylesham. Stagecoach also provide Dover with the Heart Network 60, 61, 62 and 63. Just like nearby Folkestone, the Dover local routes run from the town centre to the outskirts of the town and to Tesco and B&Q. National Express runs coaches from Dover to other towns in Kent including Canterbury. Folkestone, Ashford, Kent, Maidstone, Gillingham at Hempstead Valley Shopping Centre and Greenhill at Blue Waiter Shopping Centre for Dartford to London including Bexley Heath, Iltham, Woolworth, Canary Wharf, Elephant and Castle, the city and to Victoria Coach Station. All buses serve Pencester Road except Route 68 to Maxton operated by Regent Coaches. Retail, the town's main shopping streets are the High Street and Biggin Street. There is also the Castleton Retail Park to the northwest of the town centre. The town has a number of retail chains, including Marks & Spencer, Boots, W. H. Smith, Costa Coffee, a large Peacock's store in the former Woolworth store, and branches of Dorothy Perkins, and Burton Menswear as well as Argos. There are a number of empty shops in Dover, as is also the case nationally but Dover Town Centre has fallen behind other comparable towns since the 1980s and increasing number of retailers are no longer represented in the town including H. Samuel, Evans, International, Thomas Cook slash Cooperative Travel, Millets and Barats, Bon March, Johnson's Dry Cleaners, and Vodafone. There are long-awaited plans to redevelop the St. James area of the town centre but these are taking a while for fruition. Due to demographics and income, Dover like many places has been successful in attracting Poundland, Morrison's, Greggs and Brighthouse as retail stores to the town centre and is seeing a re-emergence of independent stores in what is prime retail area of Biggin Street and High Street. There are more charity shops as is common across the country in the current economic environment. There are plans to open a six-screen sign world cinema and leisure element at St. James but not until 2017. It has been recently announced that Marks & Spencer will relocate to St. James Development and that the current M&S General Store will close. The new 16,000 square feet store at St. James will be an M&S Simply Food with Cafar copyright only and will not sell clothing or homeware unlike the current store which will shut in 2016. It's thought the new M&S will cater for passing Belgium and French tourist trade rather than to the benefit of Dover people and Dover Town Centre. Simmons Jewelers will also close their Dover branch after 40 years in January 2014. The M&S General Store and Simmons branch in nearby Deal will remain open. Independent stores continue to grow in Dover, but the main town centre of Dover remains in decline compared to other towns like Folkestone, Canterbury, Westwood Cross and Ashford who continue to take trade away from Dover and Dover District. Marks & Spencer Simply Food is the only anchor store at the new St. James and as of December 2013, the only retailer confirmed for the development. However, there is a big possibility that there will be an exodus of existing chains from Biggin Street and Cannon Street to the new development leaving Dover Town Centre increasingly empty as will be the case with a large M&S store which has been in Dover for over 100 years. RNLI Dover Lifeboat Station is based at Crossvale Quay in Dover Harbour. There is a seven-class lifeboat, which is the biggest in the fleet. It belongs to the RNLI which covers all of Great Britain. 
The lifeboat number is 17-09 and has a lot of emergencies in the channel. The 7 class is designed to lay afloat. Built from fiber reinforced composite the boat is lightweight yet very strong and is designed to right itself in the event of a capsize. Education There are 9 secondary level schools, 16 primary schools and 2 schools for special education. Several of the state secondary schools now specialize, Astor College for the Arts. Dover Grammar School for Girls is a selective specialist humanities college. Dover Grammar School for Boys, a selective business and enterprise college. St. Edmund's Catholic School, specializing in performing arts. And Dover Christ Church Academy, a specialist maths, ICT and music academy. The Duke of York's Royal Military School, England's only military boarding school for children of service personnel, is also located in Dover, next to the former site of Connaught Barracks. Dover College, a public school was founded in 1871 by a group of local businessmen. Public Services, Dover has one hospital, Buckland Hospital located in a former Victorian workhouse on Coombe Valley Road. The town once had four hospitals, Buckland, Royal Victoria. Isolation and the eye hospitals located at various points across the town. Buckland Hospital is currently threatened with closure and various local organizations are trying to stop the cuts facing the hospital. Astor College for the Arts federated with St. Redegund's Primary School to form the Dover Federation for the Arts. Subsequently Barton Junior School and Shatterlock's Nursery and Infant School joined the DFA. It has been a very successful federation recognized by Ofsted with two schools rated as outstanding and two being good with outstanding features. Currently the DFA have applied to become a federation of academies. As of January 2013, Buckland Hospital is to be rebuilt as a new community hospital on the same site, which will mean the loss of consultant clinics in Deal and likely total closure of the Deal Hospital site which has angered many people in Deal who will be faced with a 50-minute round trip or more to the new hospital at Buckland once this is completed by 2015. Local Media, Television Dover was the home to television studios and production offices of Southern Television Limited, the company which operated the ITV franchise for South and Southeast England from 1958 to 1981. The studios were located on Russell Street and were home to programs like Seen Southeast, Seen Midweek, Southern News, Farm Progress and the Nightly Epilogue, Guideline. The studios were operated by TVS in 1982 and home to Coast to Coast, however they closed a year later when the company moved their operations to the newly complete television center in Maidstone. Newspapers, Dover has two paid-for newspapers, the Dover Express and the Dover Mercury. Free newspapers for the town include the Dover and Deal Extra, part of the KM Group. And your Dover part of KOS Media. Radio, Dover has one local commercial radio station, KMFM Sheepway and White Cliffs Country, broadcasting to Dover on 106.8 Fathoms. The station was founded in Dover as Neptune Radio in September 1997 but moved to Folkestone in 2003 and was consequently rebranded after a takeover by the KM Group. Dover is also served by the county-wide station's heart. Gold and BBC Radio Kent. The Gateway Hospital Broadcasting Service, in Buckland Hospital Radio, closed at the end of 2006. It was the oldest hospital radio station in East Kent being founded in 1968. Dover Community Radio currently offer internet programming and podcasts on local events and organizations on their website. The online station of the same name launched on July 30, 2011 offering local programs, music and news for Dover and District. Seaview Radio is a local community radio for Dover, currently broadcasting on the Internet. Playing a variety of music content from the past, present and future, be it 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, pop, rock, dance, R&B, funk, jazz or soul stretching over the last four decades. Culture, there are three museums, the main Dover Museum, the Dover Transport Museum, and the Roman Painted House. International Relations Twin towns slash sister cities, Dover has three twin towns, Calais, France, Huber Heights, Ohio, United States, 
Split, Croatia, Sports, Dover Leisure Center, is operated by Your Leisure, a not-for-profit charitable trust, caters for a wide range of sports and activities including a 25M swimming pool, teaching pool, sports hall, gym, fitness classes, sauna and steam room, is located on Tone Wall Street. There are sports clubs catering for the usual range of sports, among them football who play in the Conference Premier League. Rugby. Rowing. Swimming. Water polo and netball. One event which gets media attention is that of swimming the English Channel. Sea fishing, from the beach, pier or out at sea, is carried out here. The so-called Dover Sol is found all over European waters. Places of interest. Bla Copyright Riot Memorial, the outline of Bla Copyright Riot's aircraft, marked with granite sets, at the exact spot where Bla Copyright Riot landed after the first cross-channel flight, 1909, Dover Castle, the White Cliffs of Dover, Dover Western Heights, Dover Museum, Roman Painted House Museum, Dover Transport Museum, Sam Fire Ho, Seafront Promenade, South Foreland Lighthouse, the Pines Garden Street Edmunds Chapel, Connaught Park, Kersney Abbey, Russell Gardens and Bushy Rough Street James Church, Dover, preserved as a tidy ruin, notable people. Gallery. Dover Harbour, from the cliffs above. References. Bibliography, Stotham, SPH The History of the Castle, Town, and Port of Dover. London, Longmans Green and Company PPA 462 Pia, Foot, William. Beaches. Fields, streets, and hills. The Anti Invasion Landscapes of England, 1940. CBA Research Report 144. York, Council for British Archaeology. ISBN A 1 902771 53 2. Related links Strait of Dover, External links, UKHO Nautical Charts of Dover and Approaches, Official Site. Dover Latest News, Dover Street Map, the Dover War Memorial Project, Dover Locals, Dover Soul Local Community Website, Western Heights Preservation Society, Friends of Dover Castle A Scheme for the Local People of Dover to Contribute and Benefit from Their Castle, Dover Community Radio Dover District's Podcasting Service, an online radio service for the town and surrounding area. Seaview Radio Local Community Radio for Dover.